beavers parachuting out of aeroplanes? Yes. Yes, they are. A sprawling forest in western Canada, engulfed in raging flames. A symbol of our planet's climate crisis, burning uncontrolled. Above the chaos, a daring mission unfolds. A cargo plane, small yet determined, carves its path through the smoke-filled skies to a nearby forest directly in the fire's path. Its cargo? Unconventional firefighters poised to embark on a groundbreaking mission. As the plane reaches the critical drop zone, anticipation mounts. With a massive clang, the bay doors open and the mission commences. Shapes, obscure at first, descend down towards the fiery landscape below. For a fleeting moment, they plummet through the sky, a cascade of mysterious silhouettes against the backdrop of the inferno. Suddenly, parachutes deploy, unveiling their extraordinary passengers, the world's largest aquatic rodents. Against all odds, the beavers land gracefully amidst the chaos. But why beavers? What role could these aquatic architects play in battling a forest fire? In this fever dream scenario, these beavers aren't ordinary firefighters. Their mission is to reshape the landscape to create natural barriers that can mitigate the spread of fire using their instinctive skills to build and transform. In our fight against climate change, the most unexpected allies could potentially hold the key. Nice beaver. Thank you. Now this is the part of the video where you're probably gonna say, my gosh, this is some pure unmitigated beaver shit right here. But the craziest thing is, the part about dropping beavers from airplanes is actually 100% true. Into the holding crate they go. Get back in there, old girl. A load of beaver for the mountain. In preparing for the operation, beaver must be sorted for even size and weight. Into the drop box. The drop crates are loaded into the airplane. Parachutes are attached to cargo lines. Plane makes a careful approach, ready for the drop. Now into the air and down they swing, down to the ground near a stream or a lake. The box opens and a most unusual and novel trip ends for Mr. Beaver. So yes, back in Idaho in the 1940s, they used to drop beavers out of airplanes. But why did they do it? Well, faced with the challenge of expanding human settlement, encroaching upon beaver habitat, the Idaho Fish and Game Department launched a bold initiative. Get, on. Get off my lawn. You don't have to go home, you just have to go. So enter Elmo W. Heater and his team, who conceived an extraordinary solution using surplus parachutes from World War II. They devised a plan to airdrop beavers into remote areas. These were places that were inaccessible by traditional means and where the beavers could thrive and contribute positively to the environment around them. 76 beavers were carefully placed in specially designed boxes engineered to open upon impact. This innovative method of transportation saw the successful relocation of these beavers with an impressively high survival rate. I think there was only like one beaver that actually died in the whole transport process. So now we fast forward to today and the echoes of this remarkable operation are still felt. The beavers, once airlifted into these remote regions, have transformed the landscapes, creating wetlands that bolster biodiversity, improve water quality, and even mitigate the impact of forest fires. Beaver ponds are too wet to burn in many cases. But this shouldn't be surprising because if you look at the historical role of the beaver, this is what beavers have always done. Across North America, the beaver, an architect of biodiversity, shaped the very land that we still see today. Beavers have been master builders, their dams creating wetlands essential for countless species. These natural engineers transform terrain, 
forging ponds and streams and fostering rich habitats that support a myriad of life. The beaver is a keystone species and each beaver dam is a marvel, a carefully constructed barricade that holds back water and creates new ecosystems. These wetlands serve as natural filters when purifying water, and they act as sponges in mitigating floods. The ponds become cradles of life where fish spawn, birds nest, plants flourish, and they are among the few animals that can actively change an ecosystem by blocking rivers and streams with trees and mud, and they create all of these new lakes and ponds and floodplains. In fact, other than humans, no other animal has quite shaped the topography of North America like the beaver. Research suggests that these rodents have been modifying forests and rivers for millions of years. However, this harmonious existence was disrupted by the arrival of European settlers. <laughs> the beaver coveted for its fur as well as castoreum, which is the oil that it emits from its gland that makes it waterproof, became a prime target. The fur trade boomed and these vital engineers of the wild were trapped and hunted to near extinction. As beaver numbers plummeted in North America, so did the wetlands they nurtured. Rivers that once meandered became straightened, wetlands drained, and the rich tapestry of life they supported began to unravel. The absence of beavers was felt across the continent, a silent testament to the significance of this animal. The loss of a single species can echo throughout the environment, leading to unforeseen consequences. Beaver numbers went from somewhere between 100 and 200 million prior to European settlement, down to roughly 100,000 around 1900. They've since recovered and there's roughly 10 million beavers in North America today. Now, if we look around at our situation today as we witness the resurgence of these remarkable animals, we're reminded of their crucial role in our natural world. And could the beaver become the creature that helps us create a more balanced and sustainable future? By naturally creating fire breaks and enhancing water retention in landscapes, beavers can offer a living solution to some of our most pressing environmental challenges. Climate change, habitat destruction, the beaver can help with these things. <laughs> Consider this. Studies reveal that areas around beaver dams can be up to 4 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. In a world grappling with rising temperatures, these dams offer much needed oases of coolness, creating deep pools of water that serve as refuges for a diverse set of wildlife. Beyond cooling, beaver dams profoundly alter the landscape. They transform streams into sprawling wetlands, spreading water over larger areas. In some California sites, this has led to a staggering 15 degree Fahrenheit drop in temperatures. Hold up the temperature probe, I'm like, wow, it's 91. Like we lost like almost 15 degrees. These wetlands are not just cooler, but also more diverse and more resilient. What was a pretty cute little stream becomes this super wild, messy wetland. That's good. Remember that that is good. We want it to be messy. Ah! So do I legitimately think that in order to mitigate the impacts of climate change, we should start strapping parachutes onto beavers and dropping them from 10,000 feet? No, no, I don't believe that in the least bit. But do I think that beavers hold a potential solution for some of the problems that we're facing when it comes to forest fires and to climate change? Yes, I emphatically do. Look, I truly believe that climate change is an existential threat. And I think that the only way that you truly can try to address problems created by man-made climate change is to come up with multi-pronged, multi-faceted solutions. And having more habitat out there where animals like the beaver can do the work that they are naturally meant to do, I think is one of those things that will make a difference for us all. And I know that talking about climate science and climate change and ecosystems is not the most sexiest clickbaity thing in the world. More clickbitey! More clickbitey! More clickbitey! That's the stuff. And that is where the parachuting beaver story comes into play. Geronimo! But if that's the type of thing that inspires more people to support more beaver habitat, I'm here for it, my friends. You know, one of the biggest criticisms folks have for beavers when they have beavers near their land is that beavers make a mess of things. Beavers are messy creatures and messy beavers create messy problems. Yes, a dam in the wrong place can be a damn big problem. 
because a good beaver dam will make things soggy and swampy, and it's not the climate or habitat that most people envision when they think of nice wilderness and natural areas. When left to their own devices, the beaver can do a lot of great work in making brittle landscapes a lot more resilient. But if we're all willing to give up just a little bit of control, I think the overall positive impact of the beaver could make a massive difference for us all.